Fridays or not. Today on the vlog, my one and only Sparrow. After we did 45,000 miles together, I believe that my beloved Sportster deserves a spotlight. Especially now when I'm starting doing custom bike vlogs and talking about people's custom builds. It's not actually a custom build just yet, but there is quite a lot of changes that I've done within a year that I have it. I got it in 2016 August, one month before I passed my license. Brand new from Newmarket Harley Davidson. I'll pop the picture for you to compare how a brand new that year Sportster looked and how this my Sparrow looks now. If you don't pay attention to the rusty bits, you can see some cool stuff that I put on it. And I constantly have people asking about those Manson Hines two-in-one upsweep pipes, about my seat where I got it from, about the sissy bar and all the bits that I changed on my sports stuff. Never thought I would go for Harley Davidson. I was looking for a Ducati Scrambler, for a Triumph Bonneville, until I sat on my friend's V-Rod and actually even huge V-Rod felt really, really good. It felt like I belong on Harley Davidson. And I decided to have a look at the other models that the Harley Davidson had at the moment. I went to the dealership, I sat on a sports step and fell in love. And I did 44,665 miles. know 2020 was a year when nobody was riding that much and I wasn't able to travel that like the years before in about two years I did 30,000 miles I've been to Europe twice one solo trip to Barcelona and one around nine countries and I took my son from UK to Lithuania I was actually riding with him quite a lot and you can find quite a few vlogs of us riding together now can you promise you're not falling asleep anymore Promise, promise. Okay. Now he is too big for that. He rides his own wheelie bike and don't want to ride with mom anymore. And this is when I plan some other changes that I wasn't be able to do because I was riding with my child. Most that I've done already. The first thing that I've done was removing the reflectors from the front forks and changing the seat. I really, really didn't like the Caterpillar seat that was on the stock model. And this is a stock Roadster seat that I saw at the dealership exactly the same day. And I thought, this is the seat that I really want. I've been asked about 100 times, if not more, what is my seat and where it's from and where to buy it. 
to people you can buy it at Harley Davidson. Afterwards, I definitely needed to get rid of that sewing machine sound and change my pipes. The first pipes that I've got, it was Vance 9 short shirt in black. I really, really like the look of them. I really, really love the sound of them. But once I started riding more and meeting other sportsters, I realized that Banton Hines short shirts in UK looks more stock than stock pipes because every second sportster has them. And this is when I decided to change to two-in-one up sweep that added that personality of me on my bike and the sound is absolutely amazing. drivers have the apex moved to forward control. The reason I kept mine mid is because I really like ride standing. When my bum is tired and I need a little bit of a rest. I also sometimes use my passenger pegs and sit at the back like this, like on a coffee racer when I get tired. So there is a few positions that I use if I don't have bags on the back for me to be able to do many miles on my sports stuff. Now moving back to other mods, it is a filter that I've changed obviously with the pipes and had a stage one. How much more power do you get when you have it upgraded to a stage one? Not much. There is a little difference that you feel in nippiness of a bike, but it's not a significant difference. We change the pipes for a sound, for a real Harley sound, and we change them for a custom look. Next mod that I have done, I have changed my shocks from the stock ones that you have back on the now to a 10.5. And for me riding like cowboy is not the only reason why I changed back. I really like this look more than a slammed back. And also having quite long legs, I was actually having cramps when I was stopping at the junctions and sitting on my bike because my legs were too low. Now I can stand absolutely firmly both feet comfortably on whereas with the lower shocks and because I haven't moved my pegs it wasn't that comfortable. So I've changed back to a stock shocks and thinking to change them to something cool but didn't have time yet because I was riding most of the time. When Charlie Stockwell at Wars changed my pipes, he also put a roadster bar, so we brushed them to make them stainless steel look and they're a little bit lower than a stock iron bars, which I prefer more because I like a lower sitting position. You also can see little details like diamond range tank cap with a diamond, which is actually my name. How lucky I am to find the brand that has my name engraved on the product highly recommend because some other little but very good quality products that diamond range does black axle adjusters timing cover handlebar hardware inspection cover and a black stainless engine bolt kit one of the other things i did very early flipped my mirrors is it a better view Probably it is exactly the same for me, but some people say, some broad shoulder guys say that when they flip the mirrors, they have a better view than when they are up there. Sissy bar. I wanted something very, very clean just to put it for a purpose, to strap my bags when I go for long trips and also for the safety of my son because he didn't feel comfortable sitting on this small seat without something to rest on. I had to order from America because I couldn't find any here in UK. I think customs and delivery cost me more than the actual CC bar. Another change that I want to mention, my back signals from Kellerman. You will not believe how bright they actually are. Just have a look at them. 
probably have to look at the night time but they are so bright they're probably brighter than the big ones that i had before another thing that i did is took the time belt cover from the top because i didn't like the look of it i also raised the tank but thinking to put it back because as you see i haven't even cleared here i wasn't sure if i like that gap another significant change that i would highly recommend is changing your light changing the candle that you get when you buy a sports star to a daylight my one i got from amazon for 40 pounds it works for three years now and literally the change is incredible you probably can't see much now but when i ride at the night time i can feel it and i'm seen more by others in the traffic another thing you should notice or actually you can't notice is I don't have big bulky number plate here a yellow poster that it comes with I have a small number plate and the bracket on the side wait a second for safety reasons I will cover it my number plate is here the bracket for, for it is also from diamond range and tires you can see cobras on my tires which means i have even cobras this is the tire i would recommend to every sports rider why because i did 17,000 miles on the michelins that it came with then i did pirelli dragon 16,000 miles and now i'm on cobras and the difference when i ride in winter and ride in the rain is huge when before i used to have my tail whipping on the roundabouts when it's wet now it doesn't happen so often and i feel a lot more confident riding in the wet weather conditions and another thing to mention is my signals i moved them from up there to here because at that moment i thought it's a good idea now i'm moving to the mods that i have planned last couple of years services tom from house of thunder doing for us and we have some big changes planned i have an sns 1200 kit waiting for me to be fitted other things that i want to change those big bulbs to a kellerman and fit them somewhere here as you can see i have harley davidson grips the reason for that is yes i did change my grips before but they wasn't comfortable i got cramps in my hands constantly and they were too bulky overall i think the bars of harley davidson are too bulky for my little hands and i have cramps when i ride my bike which doesn't happen on the smaller bars so i have to make big change of narrow bars and i want to move my speedos so all these big changes are coming i don't know when when i will have time and finances to do that but this is a plan to change it all front end at the back because my son is not coming with me anymore probably the sissy bar will be taken off and i will put it just for a very long journey for local trips i strap krieger bags just here another change that i want to do is chop the fender a little bit i do think that it is too long as i mentioned i want to change shocks to something cooler and better and overall i think it's my lifetime project i never planned to get a sports star and straight away make it into a very custom looking bike i like the changes bit by bit and riding it and as you see there is so many parts that needs to be changed that are wearing out and i think that makes sense when you need to change them as well as customizing them and when you get bored of something you can flip and change it that's one of the reasons why a sports was my choice of a bike 